Hi, it's Min here. Um, I've just popped into one of my favourite little local spots to me. It's um, an old railway reserve and they've turned it into wetlands. So um, you'll be able to hear lots of birds and stuff going on around me and I'll give you a little look. Isn't that pretty? So I thought it might be a nice place to do a little video today. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about buying likes for your business page on Facebook and why it's not a good idea. But firstly, I'll talk to you about why people think it is a good idea. So you've started out your business page and your mum has liked your page and your auntie's liked your page and your best friend's liked your page and you know everybody that has liked your page and is engaging with your posts are people that you know, right? This is how we all start out. This is how every page starts out. And you're thinking to yourself, well, these people aren't going to buy my stuff. Um, these people aren't my customers. And yet they're the only ones that are seeing my stuff. I need to get it out there to more people. And the other thing that you think to yourself is, well, while I've got 15 people who have liked my page, I kind of don't look very credible. I don't look like I know what I'm talking about. I don't look like I'm a popular business to trade with or, or whatever. So you think to yourself, I might just spend $20 and buy 500 likes for my page. And then when someone visits my page, they'll see 515 likes on my page. And they'll think to themselves, well, you know, this person knows what they're doing because look at all those people that like their page. So it kind of makes sense and I get it, but here's why it's not a good idea. I am, am currently running a Facebook challenge for a group of people and um, one of them had this problem with, um, you know, we did this video and she posted the video on her page and usually videos go off when you post them on your page and loads of people like to see them and so they get lots of engagement. And this um, lady was getting no engagement at all and she couldn't figure it out. And I was thinking to myself, you know, that's really odd. Just give me your page and I'll have a look at it because it doesn't feel right to me. So sure enough, they had about 500 likes on the page and I had a quick flick through the um, posts on the timeline and it was really, really clear to me straight up that these weren't genuine likes. And the reason being that there was no engagement on any of the posts and sure enough, the video wasn't seen by anybody and certainly no one had engaged with it either. So what happens is um, this particular woman had had her page managed by somebody else previously and they had purchased 400 likes for her page. So um, that left about 100 that were genuine. So what Facebook does is it says to itself, okay, so we're going to show um, the the posts on this page to about 1% of um, their likers organically. So they go ahead and show 1% of your likers. Now if you've bought 400 likes that aren't genuine people and aren't actual profiles, they're fake profiles, when Facebook is showing it to 1% of those people, it's actually not going to anyone, right? It's not going to be seen by anybody. But Facebook's algorithms just see them as profiles. So it says, well, we're doing our job and we're showing it to these people organically. And even if you were to pay to advertise that um, post, it would still be going to, you know, four fifths of the people that it would be going to would be not, not real profiles. So, you know, you're wasting your money and you're wasting your time and your stuff isn't actually being seen by anybody. So my advice to you is to not do it if you have done it. Um, and you've got a lot of genuine likes on your page, then perhaps try and get rid of some of them. Um, you can, you know, not the genuine likes, obviously the fake ones, you can go in and you can actually report a fake profile to Facebook and they will delete that profile. But um, if like this lady, you've only got like about a fifth of the likers on your page are genuine, I actually recommend it to her to start the whole thing again and to, to shut down that page and start a brand new one and try and attract 
a true tribe, you know, the genuine people that are actually going to engage with your stuff and and buy your, your product in the end. So, you know, she was much better off to cut her losses at this point and, and to go out and get those likes and just ditch the old page in my point of view because even if she only gets 100 people liking her new page in the short term, at least there's more of a chance that some real people are going to see her content, you know. So that's my tip for the day. Buying likes is not a good idea at any time. Um, don't do it. And, um, and lots of luck. Thanks for watching.